Responding to a security breach in a DevOps environment requires a well-thought-out incident response plan to minimize the impact and prevent future incidents. Here is a detailed, real-time solution for establishing an incident response plan. 1. Preparation Phase A. T. Information Assembly A cross-functional incident response team including IT, security, and DevOps professionals. Designate roles and responsibilities within the team, such as incident commander, communication lead, forensics expert, and legal advisor. B. Documentation and asset inventory. Maintain an up-to-date inventory of all assets, including servers, applications, and data. Ensure that all systems are properly documented, including configurations and access control lists. C. Risk assessment. Evaluate the potential impact and likelihood of different security incidents. Determine the criticality of each asset and service to prioritize incident response efforts. D. Incident response plan creation. Develop a detailed incident response plan that outlines specific procedures for various types of incidents. Include communication protocols, escalation procedures, and legal or regulatory compliance requirements. E. Continuous training regular litrin the incident response team. In security best practices, incident handling, and relevant tools. Conduct tabletop exercises and simulations to test the plan and improve team readiness. F. Tooling and technology, implement security monitoring tools to detect incidents in real time. Utilize automation for threat detection and response, for example, using SIEM systems, IDs or IPs, and EDR solutions. 2. Detection and analysis phase. A. Real-time emanatoring, set up real-time monitoring for unusual activities, intrusion attempts, and unauthorized access. Use machine learning and anomaly detection to identify threats proactively. B. Incident identification. When an incident occurs, use automated alerts and manual analysis to determine the nature and scope of the breach. Isolate compromised systems to prevent further damage. 3. Containment and eradication phase. A. Containment. Attack immediate actions to isolate the affected systems and minimize the damage. Disable compromised user accounts and services. B. Eradication Vestigateth root cause and method of the breach. Develop and apply patches or configurations to remove vulnerabilities. Conduct a deep analysis to ensure the attacker's presence is eradicated from the environment. 4. Recovery Phase a. Day restoration, restoredita and services from clean backups, ensuring the backups are also secure. Verify the integrity of the restored data. B. Service restoration, gradually bring back services online after thorough testing. Monitor for any signs of reinfection. 5. Post incident analysis and documentation. A. Incident report, document the incident actions taken, and lessons learned. Share findings with relevant stakeholders, both internal and external. B. Root cause analysis. Perform root cause analysis to identify systemic issues that led to the incident. Implement necessary changes to prevent recurrence. C. Continue imperative. Up to teeth incident response plan based on lessons learned. Conduct regular drills and simulations to improve team readiness. 6. Communication and legal compliance. A. Internal communication. Keep all stakeholders, including employees and management, informed about the incident and recovery progress. B. External communication. Comply with legal requirements. For breach notification to customers, regulators, and other affected parties. 7. Regulatory Compliance A. Ensure compliance with data protection and privacy regulations, for example, GDPR, HIPAA, when handling incidents involving personal or sensitive data. 8. Documentation and Legal Aspects 
A. Ensure that all actions taken during the incident response are well documented for potential legal and regulatory requirements. 9. Feedback loop. A. Continuously gather feedback from team members, stakeholders, and the incident response community to further enhance the response plan. 10. Follow up. A. Analyze and apply the findings from the incident to enhance overall security posture and prevention measures. Remember that a DevOps environment should integrate security into the development and deployment pipelines, making security part of the culture and practices from the start. This approach can help prevent security breaches and improve the effectiveness of incident response. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.